God only knows what they're doing to these people. All the more reason to blow them to hell. Get moving. Well, hello. I suppose it's about time we get to work on taking down this base. Now, let's talk base assaults. Uh, I'm just going to give it to you on the fly here. I'm not going to spend too long waffling about it. We've dropped in here. We've repelled straight in. Uh, this is one of the two possible base layouts you can get when you assault an alien base. Um, I'd say this one's a little bit easier to clear this area of hostiles. The other one's a bit wider. Uh, also has much more defined firefight angles. The other one's more open. In this one, you know, you fight through these open doors, you breach the doors, that's the fight. You know, there isn't this sort of wide open thing going on. So what we want to do here with this base is we want to check left to right, secure this beachhead first. That's important. It'll take a little bit of the time. Gotta apologize for that, but it's important. We don't want to get hit in the flank once we engage through these doorways because there will be considerable fights happening through these doorways. In almost every base assault on this map, you're going to open these doors. Big fights happening right here. There's a no man's land that's quite tough to get through, not a lot of cover. I uh, tend to favor this left side, but it all depends on if there's a flanking element on the right of aliens. Then you tend to have to fight through both doors at once. We're going to try to consolidate our firepower through one door and see how that goes for us. Once we've broken through this main chamber, the rest of the map is a little bit more forgiving. You've got better angles, elevation bonuses in some cases, wide open sight lines for your snipers, uh, and you can draw the aliens to you uh, through a protracted siege. Uh, make no mistake, this will take a little while, uh, and we've got a few base assaults to go, so I might uh, do some editing throughout to cut out the dead air, uh, because there will be uh, dead air and uh, dead time, trust me. Base assaults are not for the faint of heart, they, uh, they take a while, so I might save you some of the suffering and cut out some of the uh, boring time. Uh, that said, once we've fought through the main chamber, we're going to find ourselves making a, a final breach into uh, a room that's quite difficult to breach into. Uh, very little cover, if any, out the front here. Uh, and you can get flanked from every which way, so you've really got to take this one careful now. I'm lucky that I've played a lot of base assaults in my time, so I've generally figured out how to do these things, but that being said, it has been a couple of months, so uh, I might be a bit rusty. Uh, we're going to take it slow just to make sure nobody comes home in a box. Uh, except for the aliens, of course. But once we've taken this room, we're going to take high ground on the uh, elevated positions, fire down on that final uh, A. So I want to keep battle scanners for this final room is usually where I burn them all, as it's quite a tough room to take without sufficient intelligence. That said, uh, I'm ready to get into this. Are you? Alright. Merlin, go ahead and move up here. I'm going to take this one nice and slow, like I said. Scout up front. Moving. On the move. Heading to Sticking our uh, aggressive assault elements up the front, naturally. Roger that. And then putting our more squishier, weaker troops like the sniper and the medic in the middle. I'm on the move. Affirmative. And there's a duality to this purpose Stop as well, if you hold on one second. Let me get Ogre in the position here. Also, we're sticking our move-limited guys with long range, like LMG and Sniper up the back. They can run up and dash to this position next turn if there's contact. They'll be one turn away from getting active. Let's do this. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, things messing up my mojo. All right, so now we take a little bit of a, a breaching move up here. Yes, Commander. Over here. Contact. It looks like we found where they've been taking the abductees. I don't care, Valen. That still doesn't explain what the purpose of all this is. Valen, I don't care. So I'm pretty sure... Okay, none of them fl uh, flew down here or anything. So we got three elites and we got one heavy floater. Now, this usually doesn't happen. This is the worst case when you got contact off the gate. Usually uh, you you're clear here. Like I said, it's good to check and make sure. So we're going to go straight up on this. Give me that mech. Activate. We're going to go straight up on these guys. We're going to play around because that is a very... That is a very nasty pod we're dealing with right here. And like I said, I'm a little bit rusty, so... Oh, oh but I can flame all of them, so... What we're going to do is going to bring up the Bowsmeister. We're going to bring up Diesel, but we got to be careful where we put him here. See, I can hit them with the proxy mine no matter where I sit, I'm pretty sure. But where do I want him to go? Well, you might notice there's really crappy cover here, but if I can get AO in the position, that changes. Alright, Iku, we're gonna stick you up the back. On my way. I need to make room for AO here so I can see what he can do. 
Hunter, you can go for back as well. Right in engagement range, these guys. Medvey, you're also clear to go up the back. Heading out. Alright, all gonna get a little bit closer. And that should free us up for AOO to get into position. And that's gonna allow us to put J Bowels in position as well. On my way. Perfect. Alright, now we do. I have you covered. Alright, stick me a mine right here. That hopefully destroys all of their cover. If I'm just a little bit lucky. And that'll make this uh, an easy cleanup if so. If it doesn't destroy all their cover, this will be a nasty little engagement. If it destroys all, this all their cover, this is uh, pretty much free. So we're going to see. Alright, it didn't destroy any of their cover, but it did panic a Muton Elite. I think I just might have taken more contact. I hope not. No, no, we're good. Two Muton Elites panic. That's really good. Three. Perfect. Now... Obviously, I don't want to make a habit of wasting flamethrower charges on a mission as long as this, but... Oh, beautiful. Uh, but in an engagement as tricky as the one we were about to have with a lot of our move-limited power, like Medve and Iku not ready, uh, you know, and not a lot of good cover, no one ready to fight, uh, it really helps to just say, you know what? Mulligan. Not having that one. Alright, go ahead and move up, guys. Take these suckers down. Moving out. DSM. I'd like to see some holo targeting. And that'll just leave us with Hyper Geek in position, but they're all panicked, so he can just move up. He doesn't even need cover, no problem. Now, who's going to be the toughest to take down here? Uh, we can worry about those two next turn. Just worry about taking these two down for now. So I'm going to holo target over here. Start working that down. Alright, take him out. He's down. He is down. Okay, now because they're going to be panicked for a few turns, Copy that. I'm not going to waste uh, ammo and 43%. I'm not going to waste time either. I'm going to get my guys up if I can here. Uh, I will take a shot, I think, on the heavy float. Nah, he's pretty easily taken out in a second. Hang on. I'm going to keep moving up. And I'll tell you why in a second. Let me just focus on moving up right now. Let's get Medvey up a little closer as well, please. Solid copy. Hunter 2. Rolling. So, there is a very specific method to my madness. Good to go. And that is that... I'm about to flank these two Muton Elites to take them out because that's obviously the easiest way to, to take this out. Otherwise, we're going to be sitting here shooting through heavy cover for ages. We're not going to hit them. It's going to be difficult. However, the downside of that is we might draw another pod on this left doorway when we uh, enter in to take these Mutons out. So I want my guys ready to move up and assist me uh, as it happens here. My god, is that guy inside the wall? What the hell? Okay. Let's get you uh, moving up here. Martendo. Please no pod, please no pod, please no pod. Oh, thank you, Lord Solomon. My man. Get off my plane. Beautiful. The first of many drop shots, I hope. Okay, let's uh, take these guys out. On the move. One for free. Neutralized. And then maybe one for good luck. Now he can wait. All right, let's keep going, gang. Like I said, I want to get these guys in position. I want to get in position uh, now. Where's Medve? Can you make it? Ah, not quite. That would have been a great firing position to have him in. As it is, I'm just going to stick him up here and we'll stick uh, j Bells here next turn. Stepping off. Or this turn, even. Sure, whatever. Headed there now. Now, I haven't cleared this right side yet. Don't worry, we're gonna do that in a second. I haven't forgotten. I have not forgotten yet. Moving. God bless the flamethrower, really. Okay, we can get Organ in a position. That's good. Oh, we can't. It's on fire. 
It's on fire, man. We can't get there. That's why uh, Medway couldn't make it there. All right, no problem. Heading to that location. We'll just get ready. Roger that. Ten four. All right. Anybody want to take a swing at this guy? Ayo does. <laughs> Gotta kill him sometime. All right. Save the rest. Reload. Run. Save that, save that, Got save that. And we'll reload, because I'm still not sure we're out of the woods here. I'm still not convinced. I, I'm sure there's going to be more contact. The only question if it's on the left side with me, or if it's on the right side. Uh, either way. Okay, well we do know we're safe up to here, so why don't you give him a little pounch. Bye bye. He's he's a little stuck. There he goes. Now we want to get DSM on the right here. Scouting. Moving. I've got a visual. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, if I'd known. Wow, there's a lot of contact on the beachhead this mission. So we got four sectoids, two mectoids. If I'd known there'd be a two mectoid pod over here, I might have waited till the Valkyrie had a turn before I went activating that kettle of fish. That is not fun at all. Okay, so we're going to want to get down. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Where was that, uh, where was that thing again? So we need j bells over here. We've got a disabling shot, which is good. Headed there now. I think we might have to burn one of those battle scanners straight up. No kidding. Take cover here. You got plenty, right? Hyper Geek? Yeah, you got a few. Alright. Let's get a battle scanner going over, right, chair. Because I think we're going to need it with the amount of contact we got on the beachhead. Usually, uh, taking this front chamber is a bloodless affair, but today it is just uh, a very bloody affair instead. But that's alright. I'm going to go ahead and disable. Nice and easy. Nice damage on the disable as always with that heat warhead power. Now, I think I should be able to sit here. Let me just test. What, that other guy was, uh, we had a mectoid. Where was he? He was down here, right? He was stuck in there. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that should be, that should be one move, right? At the very least. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, I wouldn't trust her. I wouldn't leave Medvey in that position. As juicy as that shot is, he just hasn't got the cover to make that safe. In fact, uh, everybody who isn't quite in cover here is in a little bit of danger, like Hyper Geek, uh, from that mech toad possibly popping up, so we're gonna have to watch that. Uh, can we plop a mine over? We can if the scout moves, which is good enough for me. And I think we should. So let's stick a mine over in this position. And we're just gonna have to get ready for the next Deploy contact, I mine. think. As much as I'd like to engage that uh, GMG right now, Gauss machine gun. Uh, I don't think it's prudent. So instead, Headed there now. just gonna get in position, get ready for next turn. I'm on it, Commander. Headed there now. Let's get everyone ready. Moving to designated position. <laughs> Visible from there. Killer is fine. Awo also wants to be in position, I think. Got it covered. Now, guys, I do, I do hate to be popping all my consumables this early, but I think this might be a prudent time to pop a smoke as well, just because uh, geeks in the line of fire here. If that ever mechtoid's smart enough to move up. And I really don't want to lose uh, a 10 health engineer to a plasma shot just because I decided to be a cheapskate, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to go ahead and stick that one over here. Being a cheapskate is generally never worth the death. Oh god, some cover just went down. That is some dank smoke. Okay. Hunker. Hunker. Let's see what they do. Okay, we got a shield on that one. 
Now, if I'm lucky, the second Mictoid will come up first, and then it might catch him... Uh, it won't catch him both in the blast either way, but... That's more of a delay in mine anyway, it's more of a mine that was kind of like... I hope you won't move up here because I put a mine here. Now, next turn, we will be arrayed on the flank and ready to go. Here comes Mictoid number one. Got to reload on that guy. Nice, hit the Mectoid with the splash, excellent. Very good. So I think that one Mectoid in the middle there could be on Overwatch, we gotta watch for that. Uh. Screw you, that is not what I needed. It's alright, Aero is a really good shot, even Mind Freight I'm sure he can still hit something. And... no, he's, he's, he's done, he's, he's, he's not hitting anything, okay. Get moving, Merlin. Me muevo la Nasty little fight here of the way the line of sight is gated. That mech toy is not visible to me to engage, but it is about to become a big issue as it charges over this hill and starts engaging my boys, so not super great. Could definitely be better. Uh, and the worst part is these little sectoids back here, these little suckers, are sitting there. Uh, providing mine shields that I can't get rid of because they're too far back. Uh, in fact, it, it might almost have been a better idea to just fall back and drum to me, but no matter where I go, they're still going to be doing that, I guess. Alright, let's see what we can do here, guys. Now, I got a double tap, but I think I'm going to want to suppress that mechtoid. I can't suppress that mechtoid, jeez. Not in range, I guess? That can't be right. Must just not be in line of sight somehow. Must just be glitchy. That's not good. That's, uh, very bad. That method is an insight to nobody. That's really bad. That's terrible. Jesus. Um, what are we gonna do about that? God, that's nasty. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Sorry, guys. I really don't. Oh, we might have to move in with j Bells. j Bells hasn't got absorption field, so I don't really want to move in too far. have to just move to here. I need I need some double cover is what I need. Okay, so if I move you to here. Heading there now. I'm gonna go ahead and move a uh hyper geek, sorry, not AWO. That's that's why I can't hit anyone because it's hyper geek, not AWO. I'm gonna go ahead and move hyper geek. Move around to here. Yeah, see. This is a nasty little Defensive fight. In all my here. time in base assaults, I can't say I've ever had a fight quite as nasty as this before, honestly, on the beachhead. It's a nasty little beachhead fight. Um, I'm gonna get rid of these lead sectoids before they start mine fraying every damn body. That should catch both of the mectoids and the sectoids just barely, which is a pretty good looking mine. Might not take out this right one, but hopefully it does something. Proximity mine in position. At the very least, it should kill this left one, no problem. Now, I'll probably bring Medvey around to here, get him in position. Probably get Organ in position as well. If I can chuck a chem over, I'd like one that hits both, and that might be possible by the look of it. It might just be possible. Sometimes dreams can come true. I don't know if it'll hit both, it's gonna hit at least one. Check that cam up. Nice! Hit both the mechtoids. Perfect cam. Beautiful. A tour de force. I love it. Okay. Now, you ain't in no dense smoke, so you don't want to sit there too long. Uh, AWO is, though, so AWO can probably take a more aggressive action this turn. I need to set off these diggy dang mines somehow. Uh, regardless, we probably want to bring Medvey over. I could also chuck a mine, uh, sorry, chuck a rocket from Organ, but then he's left exposed. I don't really want to do that. It's not going to kill, so it's not worth it. We're going to bring them over instead. Heading there now. This should be a better move. Heading to that location. I'm just really frustrated. I want to attack these mechtoids, but I can't. It's very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Very 
We better get Iku in uh, cover as well. Affirmative. Moving out. Just not a lot of firing going on this turn, I'm afraid. Like I said, the base assaults can be a bit awkward in the positioning. I'd run up here and just cap these sectoids for free, but um, as you can probably see, I'd probably get overwatched by that mectoid that is waiting for me there. So, uh, not a lot of options this turn, really. Not really a lot of options. Just because I can't see that mectoid, it's, uh, I keep coming back to it, but it's really annoying. Okay, if I... If I just sit here and take a shot, I guess, it's the best thing I can do. Or, uh, just Overwatch to keep him pinned. Roger, I've got eyes just on. Overwatch on people, I think. It's the best I can do. Hey, we can take a shot on one. Miss terribly, but then he can Overwatch. Hunter can... Not really do a lot. I'd probably feel safer if you just fell back, Hunter. Heading out. And just chill. Medvey's ready for next turn. And Organ can line up a rocket for next turn. Alright. We just gotta watch out for these mechtoids coming in this turn. It's a little bit nasty. But what are you gonna do, really? They've got this perfect little assault ramp to prep their attack from. Uh, and it's pretty hard to do a lot at this point. Until they show themselves, you know. Until I can shoot them. Alright. One sectoid down at the very least. Mectoids are coming in now though, and this is what we feared. They are coming in and ready to attack. Hopefully they shoot the tank. Nice damage. We actually could have killed this. Jesus, if I... We may still kill this. Holy crap! Sorry guys, been out of the fight for a while. I forgot you're uh, all awesome. Uh, but you still got to weather the attack from the next mechtoid. This one's got nothing stopping him. Watch out, please. Please, watch out. Oh god. We're okay. Incoming fire. And now they are definitely not. That is the end of this pod, let me tell you. Unless these sectoids suddenly grow about five tons of alloy and twin dual link plasma cannons, I think that is the end of danger for this fight. But watch this guy prove me wrong. <laughs> it's just three, it's okay. Alright. The fun is over now. Oh, yes, the fun is... The fun is very much over now. Now we gotta check he hasn't got reactive. Oh, he doesn't have reactive, okay. Get out of my face, thank you very much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shred that. Oh my god. It's disgusting. It's, I think even, I think Hunter can just take this one out at this point. Yeah, I, I think Hunter can actually just take this kill now. Go on, Hunter. Hunter's got it. Oh, dear. I forgot how good my troops are. I really did. I honestly forgot how good they are. Okay. Let's uh, get up there, I guess. If I can take this little one out, then the rest have to run the murder gauntlet to get into position, and I should be able to just mow them down as they try. So I'm just going to hold my position. Snipe this guy out of cover. Can't kill him if you don't hit him. Bang bang. I shot him down. Bang bang. He hit the ground somewhere. There he is. Alright, just hold the line at this point, I think. Show him uh, the mistake they made when they came to Earth, I think. I peeled, Commander. Alright, Organ, luckily your rocket won't need to be fired. Will do. That's affirmative. It saves us a bit of work. Roger that. Scanning. Lock and load, baby. Yeah, what he said. Take cover, watch confirmed. Dando cover, confirmed. On Overwatch. And that should be a uh, a fun little turn for me. Get back into position, hyper geek. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, we got, uh, I think, two sectoids left, if that. Two or three. Definitely multiple, so two or three down there. They're gonna walk into a nicely arrayed, almost completely on Overwatch, late game XCOM squad at some point. And that pleases me. But like I said, this is why you always gotta check all the beachheads, because maybe there'll be a double mectoid pod there when you check. You don't know. Oh, and Merlin's just going to repair over all of that damage. Thank you. Thank you, base Merlin. Okay, DSM, let's go. That. Check what they're doing. They do not know what they're doing at this point, and that works for me. Let's get up there and keep meeting them. 
on the field of battle. Position confirmed. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Will do. Let's just come array some military might against these guys. How about that? Moving to position. Right. Now we've breached through this door and there weren't nothing. Which is definitely a good side, but I'm gonna go ahead and out. put Medvey back on this door just to watch for stragglers coming in. Uh, I think same of AO. I don't think Die. we need the whole squad to kill these two sectoids. Although I, I've been wrong before. Heading to that location. Good to go. Iku on the move. Good to go. And DSM, you can just go ahead and fall back for this turn. That's affirmative. I have you always one for all. It takes time, but it gives you extra DR. It's always worth it. Come get some. Scanning. Let's see what the sectors want to do. Now, I shouldn't be visible if they run up, and there shouldn't be any cover they can make to and shoot from anyway. They probably won't even come up here because of that. I don't think they're that stupid. Yeah, I, I don't think they're quite that stupid. So we're just going to move up on them this turn uh, and lay down the smack. What we've, the hell was that? We've definitely got contact on that left side. Depends how close it is. I don't think we're alone out here. No, nope, you would be correct. Okay, DSM. DSM, you can kill so fast, it's actually hilarious. Um, I trust DSM to run a couple of sector overwatches, I think. Let's go ahead and do this. Headed there now. They're not even overwatching. Oh no, that one is. It was a ruse, there was three of them. It was a clever ruse. Fire. Luckily, I don't care. Okay, guys, uh, how far can you move in a single turn? AKA is this, this is over, is what I was asking. Thank you. Oh, that one's gonna get punched right off the map. Pu perfect. All right, bring it in guys. Bring the dinner bell. School's out for summer, etc. Go ahead and tell them what they've won, DSM. Well, these sectoids have won a all expenses paid trip to the bottom of this cavern. Come on down. Did it, did it, did it, did it, dun 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 dun. But wait, I'm gonna throw in a second burst of submachine gun fire absolutely free! <laughs> Hi, DSM Maze here with another amazing product. It punches, it throws, it drops those sectoids down. <laughs> hey, has this ever happened to you? <laughs> Cut to a black and white of a guy really frustrated because there's sectoids all over his subterranean base. It doesn't have to be hard anymore. Just buy a kinetic strike module. Alright. Get in your pod. Go to sleep. X-ray neutralized. Stop turning the lights on and being a little dick, gleep gloop. Go to sleep. Okay, so we've blown a nice chunk out of all the walls in very little time in the base. So now we're going for the uh, the dual entrance, pretty much. Uh, what I want to do here is because I, I know that there's nothing on this left side right now. Uh, what I probably want to do is bring my move limited guys like Medvey and Eco over to the right for this door breach. As we always know, you know, it's been a couple of months, maybe you're rusty as well as me being rusty. As you always know, door breach is the, the real secret power of humanity. So we're going to stick LMG, Sniper, or you know, AO, Sniper, blah, 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 do a door breach. Meanwhile, we'll send the mechs, or, you know, we'll send, like, DSM the scout on the left side, I guess. Actually, DSM gets run through here. So we'll just do a door breach on the right, that's all I'm saying. In, uh, didn't need to use as many words, I just say, we're doing a door breach on the right, that's the play. Running. If you don't like it, get a new YouTuber. Which you probably already did, because it's been two months, but, uh, you know, if you didn't, hey, you're still here, get a, get a new YouTuber. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you don't like it, stick around and watch every episode, because we're going all the way, don't worry. Let's do this. Ain't no campaigns getting abandoned. Don't you worry about it. Don't you sweat your pretty little head. Get ready for the big breach. Hypergeek did take a little scratch, yeah, but chef. I mean, the guy already had 10 health. You might have noticed I'm not too worried about health uh, on my non-support classes. Back online. Um, that's actually not true. I am definitely worried about it. Moving I was just like, watch. you know what? You can't babysit him forever, Beagle. You know, can't give an alloy plate to your engineer. But I, I really just need more Titan. In fact, now that I look at it, I have the horrible feeling that 
Yeah, Hypergeek didn't put any armor on. He's wearing Bullis. He's wearing Kevlar armor. They got me again with the graphics glitch where it looks like he's wearing armor he isn't. I didn't notice. I'm sorry. I didn't do my check. Let's pick up the pace on this base race. Because we've spent like 20 goddamn minutes in the beachhead by now, I swear. And that is way too long. Bien. No berserkers. Hey, no nothing. Perfect. DSM. Roll it up, girl. R r roll it up. Position confirmed. Nothing. Perfect. Muy bueno. Let's uh, roll in after her. On my way. If we're lucky, all the contact that should have been in this chamber, we met in this earlier chamber. So if we're lucky, that'll just be the end of it. But you know, we're not always lucky here. In what? Just sometimes. Aye, aye. Just when I want to be, I toggle it on. Like all the best CS players. Eyes peeled, Commander. I'm on it. Looks like this chamber's clear. That's good for me. Now, I heard contact on both sides of these doors, I think, so... We're gonna get ready for that. But, uh, unlike where there's kind of shared line of sight in this area, these next battle spaces are entirely isolated. Uh, you can't really breach one, then come all the way around and do a flank, because moving through this middle bit, one, you can activate more aliens just here. Two, the entire antechamber has a crap load of contact usually, so you just take each door one at a time, really. You don't try to flank them. Or at least, what am I What am I talking about? I I don't do that, at least. You can if you want. Stepping off. I wouldn't recommend it, but what do I know, really? Man, I tell you what, if I don't, if I actually don't edit through this after I said I would, you guys got ripped off, because there's a lot... I'm not that funny. There's a lot of, there's a lot of just unfunny waiting for me to get through this giant base. That's the problem with the base assault. It's made for giants. Like, you just take so long to get from one edge to the other. This this entire area is like the size of one normal enemy unknown map. It's just massive. It just takes forever, you know? And that was fine in vanilla where you only did it once and you're like, wow, that was a change of pace. But in long war, we gotta do like five or six of these, man. Like, settle in. Cause I'm I'm gonna have to do like a highlight reel of these things. It's it's gonna take way too long. No one's gonna watch like 12 hours of just this. I, I gotta edit this shit, man. For real. Live and impossible, not so uncut when the base is all throw all around, I think. But that's what I'm saying. It'd be so funny if I don't edit it and you guys just be sitting here listening to this like, man, we could have had this edited, but he just didn't do it. What a dick. Okay, DSM, I need you to scout for me. Just make sure there's nothing on this side. Roger that. Enemy spot. Ooh, what the hell? Wow, that was unexpected. Okay, um, commander, commander. Gotta find some cover. That was a nasty little activation. It's just not my day for good activations today, really. Um, interesting. So we got commander, commander, five toids, two commanders in that five toids, and an outsider. Really not what I wanted. Um, the only saving grace is I can lead them to an area where they've got crappy half cover but they're still going to have one good position of heavy cover that I really can't destroy. Um, DSM can, I think, get away from all this. I don't know how well. If I move back to here, okay. So if I move back to here, I'm going to j bows it up. J, j power it. What are we going to do here, guys? Get j bows into position, I can start sniping that outside, which would be good too. Is he still going to be able to... Oh, he can still chuck a mine from there. Easy. No problem. Don't even worry about it. He's got it covered. Boys. No problem. Okay, so we're going to bring uh, J-Bells over here. Wait, hang on. Excuse my terrible accent for a second, because that might not be the right choice. No, Medvay can't move anyway. He'll just be AO. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to bring J-Bells over here. That's affirmative. Boys. Defensive posture behind me. And I know you're sick of them, but it's time for another proxy mine, because... Screw dealing with this outside, otherwise. <laughs> Just burning all of my consumables really early, which, uh, no, you're not wrong. It's not a good thing. But what can I tell you, man? Life isn't always good. Do I really want to burn a proxy mine for a single outsider? Probably yes. Because if I do, then I can just camp these sectoids and it'll be hilarious. Let's see what else we can do here. I mean, if I tank one shot, it should be fine. Get Kyori up in a position too. 
Where's Kyori at? Where's that sexy assault at? Uh, Kyori, I might have a job for you, actually, the more I look at it. I might have a, a play for you to make. Down. Let's move up. To Already here. There. Go, 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 go. 69, that's not bad. Now, I wish I had a holo targeting I could uh, feasibly use here. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I don't. DSM's the only one, and we're not using DSM for obvious reasons. But we've got a couple of 69s on this target, and that's probably good enough, so... I'm gonna get DSM away. We... Moving to position. Now, who wants to kill this thing? I do. I really do. Bang it. Bang it good. Oh, nice damage. And I'm gonna get it again. That was terrible banging. That was not good at all. Alright. Next contestant. We're gonna block Kilroy. And move up Merlin instead. 56. Man, you can't hit for crap. Still better than nothing though. Alright. Checkmate. Take your shots. Just one needs to hit. Just 140. Just 140. Nope, we're not doing it. Unfortunate. Uh, but I think... No, she's not quite blocked, okay. She should have been, but she isn't. You know, the game knows best. If the game says she's not blocked, she's not blocked. Alright, we'll go ahead and take a shot. Bang, bang, bang. That's what we needed. That's... Oh, combat rush for everyone. Yes, I forgot I gave him that. God, yes. Oh my god, yes. That is so good. Aim, crit chance, and movement. Mm -mm. Okay, now I want to stick a mine over here without hitting my own team. Uh, this, this little thing can't actually be removed, I'm pretty certain. Uh, but I don't need to drop a mine there, and if it does remove the cover, killer is in a bit of trouble. So I won't go straight for that plan. Instead, I'm gonna stick A over here. Nieva problemo. It's Niva Problemo, according to him. Moving which is out. good. I think he's getting ready. Hunter's getting ready. Which up? Heading to that location. Open that door and I'll be very mad. Got it covered. And now, once again, we gotta deal with damn sectoids. On observation. I'm on it. Alright, so we got five toids to deal with. One of them's gonna move up, obviously, to this covered corner. And that is gonna be a problem. It's not a commander, though, so that's better than it could have been. <laughs> Much better than it could have been. So I have two choices here. Choice number one. Um, oh, okay, that actually is looking pretty good. Choice number one is I can flank, kill, forget about it. Choice number two is I can just sit here and keep shooting them through heavy cover. And that did block, actually, just not to the left. That makes sense. Uh, see, the thing about that is with, with holo targeting, I can probably just kill every sector that walks up to this thing. But they're going to keep getting shots at me. However, uh, if I move up to the corner, I'm going to get shot at by all the sectoids. But seeing as they flank themselves so juicily, it would be rude. It, it would honestly be rude not to take this flank. It would just be really rude of me and... You know what, say what you want about me, I'm not that rude a person. Solid copy. You know what, I'm gonna take this beautiful gift that the sectoids have given to me. Even if I just take one and fall back, you know? Even if I, even if I just take it a little bit. Because I probably don't want to sit here watching this at the commander. He's gonna mind control me next turn. And I don't care who you are, that's just not fun for anyone. Uh, can I... S I can close combat that one, yes. Hello! Oh, big, big damage for the big boy. So he's not quite dead yet. Uh, I could science by myself, and then I'm really unlikely to... Oh, I've got neural feedback, too. Then I'm really unlikely to be mind-controlled. So that will probably be fine. What else have I got? Um, I mean, Kyori is a, a side troop, so she's already got a reasonable will. That's probably the best thing I can do. I just, I'm just going to hold this. Just hold this fight, because this, this is just too juicy right now. This is too juicy. I can probably punch one of these in the next week. I could just go punch the commander. I 
could be fun too. Now, but then the other commander will mind control me as well. Um, probably best not to. But I can come here, I can punch one of them. And I can shotgun the other one to death. Martendo. Wait, he's on Overwatch. Whoops. Oh well, too bad. I don't care, I guess. Hey, Lamau. I didn't need to take that two damage. Well, actually I did, because what else was I going to do? Alright, I think a punch is in order, definitely. Goodbye. Scream! Uh, I'm not going to swap to the secondary because I want to have the shotgun out in case they rush me for the C, uh, CQC. He's down. Goodbye. And now we need to rush the rest of our troops up. Just to be ready. But the troop with the highest will out here, uh, they need to give me some give me some sigh. That would be... Looks like DSM or 69. I don't know, is that really... Yeah, DSM's the best, so... I could have hit and run with DSM too, Jesus. I'm just not used to how much movement DSM has. Okay, so we're gonna move DSM up. Oh, DSM doesn't have aspiration. What am I talking about? Sometimes I'm just so stupid. It's actually frightening. We'll get AO in position though. Morgan can uh, chippy chip move up as well. Uh, and that would leave, I'm guessing, Hunter. 60, at 63 is the next best, yes. Alright, no problem. Yes, Commander. Hold, Hyper Geek, because you are really squished right now. We don't want to do anything uh, potentially dangerous with you. That would not be good. Let's do this. They're not going to flank that position, but, you know, just in case, you know, just be that little bit safe. Moving to position. Just a little bit. Ain't nobody this team got my merge, man. It's uh, to bad. Go. Ready to engage. Right, nice little science operation, right, chair? Make sure nobody get mind control. No retreat, no surrender. That's gonna pump their will up to what? Uh, 93. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. I got a prize. Pretty decent. Overwatch confirmed. Now, as long as we don't take too much damage from the Settler Commander plasma pistols, this is a nice, cheap engagement. As uh, logistics and combat readiness goes. Yep, I'll call that one a freebie. Oh, hang on, little sector gonna take a shot. Little sector gonna take a shot. Nope, it's free. It's a free house for you, Jim. It's free. No, I think there was one more commander, wasn't there? Or is it just this sectoid is is that beef? It doesn't. It doesn't. I, I thought it was another commander, but maybe I'm wrong. Well, regardless, um, it's clobbering time. I guess there wasn't another one. I guess I'm wrong again. Woo me. Uh, I need to I need to make sure that dies to the punch for cinematic qualities. So I'm just going to go ahead and move up here. And into position. if you just want to give him a little tap, just a whittle. Not just a little bit more. That's it. And, oh, no, no, it's, no, I didn't even get to punch you. No. Not fair. Okay, well, assuming the contact's over on the left side, now it's time to clear the right as well. That uh, and I am assuming the contact's over on this side at this point. I affirmative. So let us play musical chairs yet again and move over on this side. Get ready. I have on you the watch. On the I, I swore there was another sector commander over on the left. I swear. So he must have run off, right? Oh wow, he he hauled ass. They're starting to lose ground. He was like, no thank you, I am... Okay, we're gonna breach that. Uh, maybe not this turn. Um, I just want to make sure people are in position. De acuerdo. Because you know what, if there's a Berserker team in there, it's not gonna be fun for anybody. I'm on the move. No one is gonna have a good time from that. It's killing time. Oh, but he's, he's probably ready to murder. No, if there's Berserkers in there, Beagle, it's not worth it. You'll kill that set the commander over way. It's not worth the trouble. Be sure. Not worth, buddy. Solid copy. Yes, thank you for reminding me, Beags. Thank you very much. On Overwatch. No problem, that's what I'm here for. Moving to Overwatch. Give it to him, guys. Give it to that little sectoid. 
Okay, he's gone. I know, I know, I know. We could have just opened the door and killed him, but what if there'd been five berserkers here, man? Game over. And I ain't about game over. Never be game over. Not me. Roger that. Scan Overwatch. I am Overwatch. Don't do anything. Overwatch. I I. What's your game, Sector Commander? What's your play? What was that? Your four toids down and an outsider out. It's the final. It's the final minute of the innings, or whatever. What's your play? Solid copy. The Overwatch is up, and it misses, and he doesn't take out the power supply despite me, which is good. There's no bait. What is the play of the sector? He's got to be baiting me. I bet there's a pod like down here, and his AI is like, please let me let me just let me just hide in the pod right here. But he's he's above it. He doesn't realize because he's stupid. He's an idiot. I bet. I Let's bet that's what's up. I bet there's a pod down there. I'm not gonna move any further than this smack. Because I bet there's a pod down there. And I don't like it. We're just gonna overwhelm him with fire, I think, is the only option. Granted to me today. On my way. Alrighty tidy, let's do this. Covering Give me the holo targeting. Give me the real ultimate power of holo targeting. The real ultimate power of humanity. He's screaming at us. He's like, no, you'll never take me down. I think I will beg to differ. Couple of rapid fires. Let's do it. Take his cover out at the very least. Come on. Nope, not quite. But you're going to get him. I got a good feeling, gang. I have a great feeling. You're going to get him. You're not getting him. He's not dying this turn. That seems clear now. Negative damage. Okay, then just gonna have to sign Spire and suppress him. That's all we can do. Ni retraite, ni reddition. No retreat, no surrender. Yeah, suppress him right in his dome. Good one. Got him. Come here. Suppress him right in his stupid walnut sectoid head. Alright, here we go. It was not enough. I still got booped. Science inspiration was not good enough. I'll tell you what is good enough. I am going to... Hmm. Actually, hold on. We can flush him out. Probably better. So give us the real ultimate power again with the holo targeting. I'll get him next time. You know what? I could just flank the guy. I mean, <laughs> that probably would have been smarter, but I'm kind of scared of moving up. I think I can take him out from this position, and I'm kind of scared to move up at this point, honestly. So I'm gonna take a shot. We, we really should be able to kill him from this position at this point. There should be no problem with that. Flush him. Flushing okay, that missed, which is unfortunate. Oh, don't you get away. Don't you get away. You little donger. You absolute little donger. I've been donged. No way that just happened. Ah, I've been donged for the last time. I can't believe it. Now I have to move up on him. Or he's gonna tap me again. Alright, I've got a couple of scans left, right? I've got a bunch of scans, so... I'm gonna do two birds with one stone here if I can. Let's get Geek up to get this scan really good. So I'm gonna scan, see what's down here, and at the same time... You know, at the first I'm gonna make this flank work for me. Hopefully, if I can still flank him. Second, I'm gonna see what's down here if anything nasty is waiting for me. Go! What could they possibly be storing in those tanks? A lot of elites, a lot of elites. But I should be good. Oh my goodness! That's not gonna be fun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, are you kidding me? That flank really is bait. It wasn't even a joke. Check it again. 1, 2, 3... 
Ah, and these guys are slightly closer too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Man! It wasn't even a joke. It was the perfect bait. Like, seven elites. Six elites and an ethereal. My god, that is strong bait. That is great bait. Have we thought an ethereal on NLNI before? I always forget. I ask this every time because I keep forgetting. But I honestly can't remember. Goodness gracious, that is... Yes, Commander. That is terrible. And now he's in heavy cover is the worst part. Just kill him, please. Please just somebody kill him. I don't have time for this sh no way. shit. Literally. Yes! Great bait, mate. I rate it 8 out of 8. A 8 out of 8. So, we've got an interesting pod coming up. I'd say that's for damn sure. I think what we're going to want to do next turn, excuse me as I move away from the mic to breathe in and also not be so hot. Um, I think what we're going to want to do, bring ourselves back around, coming from the left side. We're going to sneak... Uh, oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be easy. Don't worry. As long as it doesn't move, we're gonna sneak uh, J valves around this left side. Sneak him up behind here. Proxy mine. Proxy mine. Proxy mine. Proxy mine. And maybe another proxy mine just for good measure. We're gonna just blow them all up. Uh, and we're not gonna fight the ethereal. We're gonna remove the ethereal. Remove ethereal. That's that's all. Cue the accordion because I'm I'm not playing with that. I'm not playing with that. Heading to that location. Will do. All right. Now the difference between heart-wrenching defeat and hilariously easy victory is just moving up to this position without triggering any line of sight so we have to be extra careful that we don't trigger anything i think one move to here should be moving good out. and then we should be able to take a hop skip jump up to this middle se section here totally blocked line of sight oh and we can start mining today that's right there's no setup fee. You can start mining today, guys. I'm gonna start right now. Can't do this in beta 15. Laying mines. Hey. What's this thing underneath me? You, you come and get this away from my feet. That's what he's saying. Okay, just a little bit closer. I'm on it, Commander. Just a little bit closer. Bye bye, ethereal problems. Goodbye. Was nice to meet you. Proximity mine in position. Just kidding. I don't like ethereal. Moving out. Landmines really are one of God's greatest creations. And that is proven every day in this game. Every single day. Flop. Laying mines. All right, what was that? Three? I think one more mine should be enough. Whee! Proximity mine has been placed. You know, Ethereal's a psychic, but even this guy isn't seeing this coming, apparently. Here we go. I guess he's just scared to move. I mean, what would you do if you had a landmine land on you? You'd be like, well, shit, don't move. It's a landmine. But then the next landmine lands, and that's how they get you. Is it's just continuous landmines. All right. Screw these two on the right. Let's make this happen. Here comes the money. Rockets away. Money, money, money. Firing shredder rocket. Wait for it. Eyes on target. That's what we wanted. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like playing with ethereals today. <laughs> okay. Now, we can't engage these two on the right, which is a slight shame, uh, but one of them is shredded at least. I should have brought Iku around the side after all, I guess. Uh, we can probably blow up their cover though. T, uh, TBH, to be quite honest. We. <laughs> hey, look at all this shit we didn't give a shit about. Ethereal looks like what spiders look like when you kill them and they all curl up. I love how ethereals get naked when they die. It's like the ultimate insult to what should be the most dignified alien. Right, we're gonna blow up their cover. Oh, don't blow up that poor man though. Don't. He's, he's probably still alive in there. Don't blow him up. Just blow up the computers. They don't have feelings. 
Yeah, stand up on the counter. Make that grenade real cinematic. Nice. Okay, we got any reactive targeting? I'm thinking no. We're thinking no on reactive. In my turn. Let's go, Merlin. Oh. Well, let's not go, Merlin. Okay, we need to put more distance between us, apparently. That's a bit shitty. Let's go, Awo. Please. Oh, okay, so it's gonna be that kind of day then. This is karma for what I did to the. <laughs> to the ethereal, I suppose. So. Can't see across there. Great. Not great. No one's gonna be able to help me. Unless I run all the way out here, but that's a bit risky. I can run up to here, that's no problem. Then I can douse rifle one of them. DSM can run up too. No problem. Yeah, it's it's right you've gotta get right to this tile for it to actually work properly. That's a bit shit. Alright, why don't you slap that one with a restraining order? Good. Oh yeah, you got hit and run. You can restrain and order both of them. Cool. Nice! Wicked. Awesome. Rad. Alright. Cool. Alright. Cool, cool. Oh, oh shit. Negative damage. Wicked. Kick it, kick it. Heading to kick that location. Some more. Can't see the other one. Not a fan of that. Hunt him down. Really not Roger good. That. We're not gonna kill the other one because no one can see it. No one can see it. What what is this? Oh, literally no one. Okay, who can see it? Because obviously so DSM can, that's it. It's gonna be fine. I wouldn't worry. It's gonna be 100% A-OK -okay apple pie. Got him. So I got my top man on the job. Don't worry about it. Take cover here. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Top men. Overwatch confirmed. Here we go. Top men. Contactos alienígenas en retirada. Coming at ya. Top men coming at you. Here we go. Here's some top men shooting for you. Boom. Top men. And here it comes again. Get ready. I uh, okay, no, don't get ready. Oh shit. Okay, no, it's okay, he's running. Top men, here we go. Top. Well. Alright. And he was gonna spill some more of his uh, Doritos all over everyone, and we're good. That was a potentially dangerous encounter, uh, potentially dangerous and dramatic and exciting encounter. Totally just neutralized and removed. Aren't you guys glad? That could have been so interesting and exciting, um, but instead, uh, it's just a really sad, pathetic pile of failure for the aliens. Uh, and I'm not gonna lie, that's how I like them. That's how I like my aliens. Sad, pathetic, and failures. Look at their funny little bodies. <laughs> little, little A-angels. A-angels. Um, so anyway, now we have to worry about further contact inside this room. Now, honestly, we've had so much contact already. I'm starting to question if it's even possible for there to be that much more contact in this room. Base assaults have a lot of enemies, but still, I wouldn't be at all surprised if this room was empty now and everything else was left inside the final room. Now, if there is more contact in this room we're in now, which is honestly preferable, uh, because everything's preferable to taking on this last room, um, then that would be good, because that means there's less contact left in the command and control room. Either way, to be safe, we have to clear out the left side. So, we're gonna do exactly that. Oh my god, you're so fast. I love it! And you know what really makes me feel great? We didn't even have to blow this guy up. He can keep getting his, uh, thing done by this machine. What the hell does this machine do? Anybody? 
what's actually... I mean, ignore, like, the, the freaking intestines in this space. What is this machine doing? What's going on here? He's alive, he's moving around. I mean, I know this is already a long video, but I just want to take a second and just, like... I've honestly never quite figured out what these machines... I, mean. I, I guess it, he's getting probed hardcore. Or maybe he's probing the machine, I don't know. Maybe it's like the Matrix. Maybe they're all playing visual novels and dating games inside there and... They don't even know, it's just... Like, augmented reality, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, I probably shouldn't stare at it for too long. Or else the, uh, my rating on my video is gonna go up. Right up the middle, all through the Cool Ranch farm. Oh, there is just more and more contact in this map. Just when I think there can't possibly be more contact in this chamber, there is more contact in this chamber, and it's another two mectoids and four sectoid force. They must have a lot of resources for the defense garrison this base has. Alright, so luckily the mectoids aren't in range, so we'll play the long range game on them in this uh, engagement. Ooh, Iku, Iku says, pick me boss, I have a flank. Yeah, uh, you're probably not going to get attacked by anything this turn, so that seems pretty groovy. I'm down. I'm down with that. Free kills for you then. Alright, we're going to have to set people up ready ready and waiting to take these uh, mectoids on here. I'm on the move. You are ready. Um, well, we stick you, Organ UK. That is your real name. Probably Dunhia. Down Dunhia. Solid copy, Commander. Uh, AO on the side would be groovy. AO here, really. For this Eat turn, up. we'll put him in the half cover because he's not going to take any fire. Kilroy can come over here and start to think about the sectoids. Moving out. Hunter up the back. J Bows, get yourself in position. Get ready to potentially mine. Heading there now. We may need it. And that just leaves Merlin to do nothing in particular. Probably just fall back and get ready with the rest of the mechs. Estoy en camino. Oh, you still have. You're still being spotted by that sectoid. That's not altogether good because you're going to get shot now. Believe it or not, that is what happens. Position confirmed. And Hyper Geek, you're kind of low, buddy. You probably just want to chill out up here. It's kind of cool. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Doc Oh, you can both be seen. That just ain't no good. Take cover here. I'm watching. But the Mectoids shouldn't get... Mm, they might get a shot on the Valkyrie now, which is not altogether good. Because if that Sectoid can see me, which honestly was a shock... Uh, then the mech toys are going to be able to shoot me. That's not good. Nice shot, though. Well done. But here comes the Furious Vengeance. Minor damage at best. Ow. No, don't talk big, j Bells. That's actually pretty reasonable. I would have picked him to shoot at the Valkyrie, but it seems they're smart enough to go for the weak. Whoa! Not, not friendly. Uh, the weak archer. Do not shoot Kilroy. Yeah, I would have picked him to go for the Valk, considering that Archer should have tax sense, uh, but whatever. They're, uh, they're smart enough to go for the little baby. Luckily, this ain't no mech one. He's got enough uh, health to not really care too much. Uh, and now they've lined themselves up nice and pretty for me, so I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take them. I'm going to take them downtown. Uh, I need to check if they have reactive. Nope. Survey says no. Okay, you you guys are so dead. I don't think I even need to use a mine on you, honestly. You guys are so motherfucking dead. It's it's not even funny. It is a joke how dead they are. I need to apply Shred of the both of them. First and foremost. So we're going to Shred. Uh, and I should really get holo targeting on these guys too, on these bad boys. But, you know, wouldn't hurt. We're going to bring DSM up. Roger, tracking. DSM is in range of the sectoids now, but she she does actually have tax sense, so that's no problem. Okay, we're going to apply some hollow to both. These things are actually so dead. I'm going to rapid fire the back one 
Which one did I already hit? I already shredded the front one? Okay, you are going to the bad place, my friend. Go on, you get two. Oh, they're not even they're not even gonna need Medvey. That's the saddest part of all this. Oh, and there's another sectoid done flanked itself. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Okay. This is gross. This should not be allowed. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, Abraham Lincoln's ghost. What is that damage? This is disgusting. That is not allowed. You should not be able to do that much damage. Okay. That is... That's... That's filthy. That is filth damage. That is not okay. Okay, we're going to move J-Bals back. And yeah, we're definitely not going to need the proxy mine for this one. Just go ahead and... I don't know. Which one do you want to finish off? Both? Eva? Finish that one off. Right in the brain. X-ray neutralized. Yeah, disgusting. F -f filthy. Filthy damage. Absolutely filthy. Moving to firing position. Yep, yeah, you go and uh ran and gand yourself up a storm. Let's go. Moving to designated position. Hello. 74. Or 56. I'll take the 74. Damage. You can just kill as much stuff as you want right now. You can just go for broke. Alright, DSM finishing off this thing. Or not. It's alright, no one else. Tell him if you don't hit him. No one else will miss now, DSM, because of your sacrifice of your Moving turn. To position. Bang bang bang. D E D. Dead. Oh, they're just getting slaughtered. Alright, we'll bring AO down. Let's start to bring him down. Everybody's got another shot. And he's only got one target to shoot at. And he's gonna miss. So really, just all around not a lot going on for Medvey. Hopefully I'm not about to get flanked. I might be about to get flanked. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Pop! Dead and gone. My weapon's spent. I mean, if I was that sectoid, I wouldn't. I'd run back to the other pods, but sectoids are crazy sometimes. They might do it. Affirmative. But I wouldn't. I feel okay. What you gonna do, sectoid? Are you a uh, man or a mouse? They're falling back. Maybe you're a mouse. You're a mouse. You're, Incoming over here. you're a little mousy bitch. You're gonna die like a mouse. You're both you mice. Got? You about to get fucking D E S T R O Y E D destroyed. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now one. Nothing wrong with me. Two. Nothing wrong with me. Three. Nothing wrong with me. Four. There's no other words to this song. X-ray down. Oh yeah. Delicious. Well, we're clearing out this antechamber pretty nice and sweet and sassy. I'm liking it. Copy that. I would go so far as to risk being sued by McDonald's and say I'm loving it. It's going real boys good. Confirmed. Moving out. Estoy en camino. Keep on moving up, boys. It looks like we just got one more room to take. <laughs> Nothing bad will happen. I'll get to the end of the assault and I'll say, and there he is, Hyper Geek, the man who did it with ballistic Kevlar armor. No problem. Look at us just just cut through these these little bad boys. I, I love the bodies. The bodies are my favorite part. They get me all hyped up. Oh, we're gonna need a med kit on J Bows because he ain't got no repair servos. He's not meant to be a tank. Just uh, quietly between you and me. But hey, how, think how differently this base assault would have gone I'm on it, if I hadn't detected that that Sector Commander was baiting me into the six elites and ethereal pod. 
Mmm. Not fun. Move, move, move. Very different. Probably would have got me a lot more views because it would have been dramatic. I'm on the move. Probably would have earned me like like a ton of money. I probably could have bought a car. Yeah, Jamie, Shit, I should I shouldn't use battle scanners so much. I'm just biting my income in the foot. Roger, Dodger. You know what? I'm pretty sure my uh, I'm I'm sure I've talked about this before, but it's just it always it always amuses me. Pretty sure my my most most popular Moving video on. in the series is um apart from the starting ones because you know the starting ones are almost always the most popular. You have like you know. Couple, couple hundred thousand views or whatever because people are like oh hey new series I'll check it out and then they're like oh no actually this is shit I'm not gonna watch any more of this so you know <laughs> my first two videos always have like a lot of views and then it's like nah we'll wait for the next series Beegs um, after that but after the, apart from that um, Frag's Finest is of course the most popular one Overwatch, I um, Overwatch. and I, I'm sure I've spoken on this before is how I'm very much at odds I don't think we're alone out here. On the left. very much at odds where I want nice, easy missions where nothing goes wrong, but the viewers want horrible, dramatic bloodbaths where people die and there's lots of drama. You savages, you freaking pigs. Should, should just throw That's caution to the it. wind and get more favorite characters killed every episode. Blood money, literally. Will do. To pad my bank account with. Moving to position. <laughs> Funny how entertainment works when you use location. war as your source material. Moving out. But I don't think we're going to be rolling in at this mission. All we're going to be rolling in is Illyrium alloys and location. dead aliens because uh, it's looking pretty good. However... Parti. Oh, don't go down there, Hypergeek. <laughs> Hypergeek jumps off the map. No, you told me to. Um, however, don't look so downtrodden yet, Moving because out. we haven't even hit. This is just a tutorial for the base assault. This is the real base assault, this room. This is where heroes are made and idiots are discovered. This is the Vietnam of base assaults, this little room. So we're getting there, trust me. Moving. Just takes a while. You know, going back to talking about how my viewer numbers drop off, uh, I also kind of ruminated on it and thought, oh man, I probably shouldn't have done that the other day when I was like, Oh, you know one thing that might have turned some people off is the very second episode of the series. Chevy. I was like loudly eating Chinese food on the mic. <laughs> it's like maybe, maybe they were like, this series isn't for me. Heading out. And then I never ate Chinese food on the mic again. Maybe I lost 80,000 viewers in an instant. I just shouldn't have had Chinese food that night. How sad is that? Moving to but you know what? It arrived. Position. It was hot. What was I supposed to do? Probably pause the video, but I wanted to make sure you guys had a video in the morning, and this is what happens. I I pay for it. All right, enough shit talk to fill the air. We're finally at one of the door breaches. Now this isn't the breach, sadly. It's just an uh, like like a little chamber. This is the breach. It's a single door, which is good and bad. Generally good because you usually run on the berserkers here, and then you uh. Well, you hilariously camp the shit out of them. The Trust me, it's it's very funny. Overwatch. Okay, Roger. now, this the is manner. the point where we want to start Overwatch. scanning. We want to scan left, we want to scan right. Okay, we definitely want to scan that? left. We want to know what flavor of mutons we got on the left. So let's start getting some scans going. Boys and girls, and various genders. Usually the best place to put a scan is right up here on the ledge where you're going to see what's on top of the ledge and if you place it just right you're going to see what's uh, below as well. I mean don't quote me on this I might be wrong but I remember this being a good scan position. Yep that's a pretty good scan so we got oh just greenies no problem. Give me more elites I need more bodies for uh, tack rigging. Then I'm going to open a whole new world I heard on you. Four floaters three mutons the distant cousins of the now mechanically modified floaters the floaters just sit around having meetings with the mutons like hey you guys still have your legs oh that's cool that's that's cool i guess we got these jetpacks but um yeah still having your legs that's pretty good so that's one pot on the right uh there are some blind spots it's not perfect blind spots here here uh directly in front of us as well as a blind spot but it's generally pretty good now give me the other scanner roger that come here dsm and we're going to pull the exact same bullshit on the right s We're not going to do that, because I've decided I don't want to. <laughs> Actually, because we don't have range. Um, 
Okay, because we don't have Bombardier on you. So we're just going to roll a normal scan out then. And that's... We're just going to put a normal scan out here that covers this front side. Uh, if... Hopefully this scan will work the same way. It'll give us the ledge and what's down the pit. That would be preferable. Uh, but when you throw stuff on top of cover, you're playing, a devil, you're playing a devil's game because it, it can not work. It can fail. It can just not give you line of sight. But in this case, we're good. These pieces of cover are cooperating. And they're going to go ahead and give me this important information that there is nothing in the pit in close proximity to us. Doesn't look like there's anything on our left. Doesn't look like there's anything directly on our right. And that's going to let us break in. We're going to move to here, take this ground, throw another scan over. If that's clear, we know we've just got uh, a 7 up on the left uh, and nothing on the right. We can take the high ground, uh, clean out this easy pod, and I took a lot of effort to clap there because Bob's your uncle. That's the mission. What are you, what are you doing, Awo? Get down. You're not allowed to defy gravity. But sir, I want to be taller than the mechs. No, it is not allowed. Get down. He's piggybacking. He's piggybacking on the mech right now. It's so cute. Uh, let's get people ready. So I'd say we want Eco in position. Yep. Affirmative. We want our breaching team ready to go in. I say breaching team like they're an actual independent entity like Open XCOM. I'm going to play some of that soon. It's going to be it's going to be rad. That's affirmative. With the attack dogs mod too. Get me some Alsatians. Good. Thank you, Ayo. Thank you for coming down. Moving out. I'm on the move. Oh, no. There we go. It's just that spot. That's a cursed spot. Do not step on that spot. Alright, are you static or are you mobile? You look pretty static to me. Yep. Each one of those monsters is an individual pod. That's why it's taking so long. It's uh, actually seven pods of one. Okay, let's clear out to the right here. Boys, girls, and various genders. Good, good. DSM, where you at, my lady? Oh, even the mechs get the cursed spot. Jesus. No one's taller than you, J Bowles. Don't worry. You're the tallest. Chuck a scan up again onto cover, and again we're going to see what we can see up on this platform. Scanners online. Hopefully it's a well-behaved scan. Yeah, pretty reasonable. So it looks like we're clear on the right. Where can the enemies be? There could possibly be. I mean, look, there's a possibility of one in the blind spot here, but they never, they're never there. It's very rare. Uh, we've got potential aliens here. We've definitely got aliens here. Potential pods in the pit, and definite aliens on the left potential here. Considering the amount of contact we've fought already, I would not be surprised if it was just this and this, but we have to play like it's not the case. So what we're going to do is run up here, take the high ground, uh, probably come over here and start laying down some smack with the benefit of the high ground. Uh, we just got to be careful not to activate anything on the right, but once that's done, uh, we're going to be looking really safe and really secure. What's the tower range, just in case? One, two, three, four. My baby don't mess around because she loves me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So on the diagonal, we should be able to move to here anyway. Moving out. So there should be no world in which that was an activation anyway. And then it looks like, yeah, we are line of sight blocked. We should be line of sight blocked for this. Roger. All right. Roger. Now that the fire team is ready to move into cover and engage at a moment's notice, we can continue to move that assault team in. Got our assault team covered. That means you're ready to keep moving. So when the worst happens, you can uh, you can bounce back. Heading out. But the worst ain't happening to us just yet. Affirmative. I'm on my way. Now I'd say it's time to start putting some mines up here, boys. You know, mines are just such a great thing, and I don't mean in the ironic "haha, landmines are great" joke thing. I mean seriously. And, and th this isn't true in beta 15 anymore, so I honestly shouldn't even waste my breath. Um, but the way it worked before where in this beta where you can stick mines on things and they don't instantly activate is just so strong because it really lets you, oh, in a mechanical sense, have a unit that can either do damage in a turn like everyone else or it can stack that damage up into a single powerful alpha strike that just makes enemies not relevant like that ethereal pod. And that's why it was nerfed, because <laughs> it was too good. But as Jake Solomon and Ananda Gupta designed it, I think actually Gupta just did all of enemy within, I don't know, but as the as Frexus did it, the proxy mine launcher was a, a beautiful system. 
That worked very well for that. Uh, never to be Are seen again because it's broken as hell, I guess. Moving. I'm on the move. But it was good. Scanning. You know, I think a, I think one mine should be enough for these babies. I'd say I'm feeling pretty comfortable with that. Let's just get in position to attack here. And go from there. As long as I don't reveal of this move, which I shouldn't. Nope. Then we should be good to beat some sense into them next turn. On my way. And then I can keep those extra two mines for the uh, the command command chamber. Heading out. Now let's see. All right, next turn we'll move the we'll move uh, the scout in the position. Zohotong. Zohotong. Moving out. We're getting ready. Yes, Commander. Yes, sir, e dog. If I can get Org in a position here and then fire a rocket to start this engagement off, perfect. That would be pretty much the best. I think I'm ready for XCOM 2 because honestly, the way I fight in Beta 14 and XCOM is guerrilla anyway. Kill them before they know what hit them. So I, I think I'm ready for XCOM 2. I think my playstyle is already ready for it. I think I'm blessed in that sense. My playstyle perfectly fits. XCOM 2 already. Sneak around and kill people while they're not looking. Roger, tracking. Positive enemy contact. That's okay. Can you believe I almost put two mines on that? That would have been any fun at all. I would have just killed them all. How unfun would that have been? I know, right? Glad I didn't do that. You, you always gotta give them a chance, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. Position confirmed. Just gotta be careful we don't activate the right side here. Oh, what's that? Did somebody say hit and run? Hit and run. Yeah, somebody definitely said hit and run. But then someone else said covering fire and it, it messed everything up. There we go. <laughs> I knew someone said hit and run. Okie dokie, lemon smoky. Let's get in there, boys and girls and other genders. I don't know why I keep saying that today. Um, let's go J Vals. Position confirmed. J Vals was the scout, is the secret. What I really wanted to do was punch this muton. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna punch you in the next week. Remind me to literally do that. Next week when I make a video, remind me to punch this muton into it. I wanna punch this muton into that video. Thank you for reminding me. I was gonna shoot that one, but never mind. Okay, um. Bit of a waste then. But I can run a gun straight up and kill that one, so it's not a waste, it's okay. Now, Iku, can you see anything? No, you can't. Screw you. DSM. You're the new hotness. Kill this thing. Not a problem anymore. Some men call them floaters. I call them turds. No, I don't know. Let's get AO in a position. Kill, 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 kill. Party, party, murder, murder. Ass. Don't forget the violence. Good copy. And Moving I'm not going to flank because the shotgun should be sufficient to take him out. And, you know, that could end up exposing me to return fire from a right flank. See it. Oh, bye-bye. Yeah. Kyori hasn't even got a punch. He's still dropping bodies off the edge of the base. Beautiful. Ah, uh, but yeah, I just don't, I want to make sure I don't hit that right side. Okay, just go ahead and shoot him because you've got nothing better to do. Oh, magnifique. Absolutely beautiful. I love every one of you. Oh, I forgot if I got a kill. I gotta, I gotta remember to use Adrenaline Rush more. It's a strong ability. Alright, well, all over but the crying now. I just need to get a battle scan uh, onto the last pod of the day, I, I would imagine they'll be. Heading to that location. And I'm gonna go from there. Last pot of the day hype. Iku can come back down here. Let's do this. 
Get himself ready for action. Whoopsie! Man, it's really easy to activate that pod. Okay. One, two, three, four, five outsiders and a commander. Watch out. I said watch out. No one should get shot off this, but that is, uh, that is a whoopsie, as I audibly noted. Solid copy. We're gonna want Medve down here as well, I think. Sling and fire. Or do we? Medve on the left, perhaps. Go, go, go. Roger, Dodger. Okay, Chauvet la zone. Oh, what engage. in Satan's hell is that? Oh no. Oh god, they've got shots. Why do they have shots? Stop it. If the rest of those drones get shots, I'm gonna be very mad. No, okay. That's alright. So, it's lucky that the big drone didn't get a shot. Um, because the big drone is Satan. He, he's not like Satan's messenger or anything. The big drone, uh, is Satan. I've met a couple big drones before. One of them was Queen Sally. You should be glad if you haven't met Queen Sally because she was, she was a little off the chain. Uh, so we need to kill that drone. That drone is public enemy number one right now. Uh, fortunately for me, I can do just that. So we'll ignore the outsiders for right now, counterproductive as that seems, because the drones need to die. And I would just be more than happy to deliver death to them, if they would so choose. Okay, so I'm not going to get the hit and run, but that's okay. I'm going to get the hollow targeting on this hard target instead. This just got interesting. Now I want to shred. I want to shred that up like a guitarist. I want to I wanna shred it. Shred it good. Okay. I'm not done yet, bitch. I'm going to take you down right now. I'm going to take you down to Party Town. I warned you. I warned you about Party Town. That's where we're going. You're going down there. Ooh, yeah, you are. You're going straight down the funky town. We're going down, down, down. To funky town. Wish I could get an explosive on those stacked up outsiders. I can get a suppression, though. Not a danger zone suppression, mind, but a suppression nonetheless. Um, excuse me, I really need this drone to die. Can anyone help me with my dream? Only, only really AWO. Okay, AWO, kill the drone. Beautiful, strong, independent. Those are the qualities I would describe that wonderful shot by AWO with. Okay, we're gonna have a shredder over here. Heat shred. Apply liberally to any robot problems you have. Call your doctor in the morning if the drones persist. Yeah, that's starting to get some work done. Now, I can get some mind damage on these outsiders. We'll see if it really means anything for me. But, you know, if I bring J-Bells over here... And I do a happy little mine... That's step one of my plan. Now ask me, ask me about step two. Step two is grenades. Step two is always grenades. Wee! Yeah, way! Nice bounce. Imagine if he wasn't a god at bouncing, like it just bounces the wrong way and kills DSM. Horrible. Right, so they're pretty nice and low. Again, like I said, if I could get another AoE down there, I'd be very, very happy man. Um, but I can't, so I'm not a very happy man. <laughs> what can I say? No pleasing me. And I can't get in the zone on them because it's beta 14 and that bug wasn't fixed yet. So, because they're in cover at squad site range, it will be no fun allowed for me. But what can I do here? Well, I can probably kill one of them with uh, IQ. Kill, 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 kill. Oh, not quite, Jack. Not quite. But that's okay. I had a feeling that might happen. And I'm just the fucking best. Run, bitches. Run, bitches, indeed. Now we take our second shot. Excuse me. Oh, yes. Let the adulation rain down upon Medvey, greatest of the gunners. 
our first and favorite child. Overwatch for AOO. And we're just going to want to get Kyori in position to tank, I think. On it. Oh. Oh, they were exposed outsiders and I never even knew. No. No, give me Iku's turn back. No, not fair. Shit. Shit. And there's way more drones, too. Uh, I could potentially kill one of them. Or I could just get my ass killed. I'm not sure which seems more appetizing at this point. How about I bring Hunter over, Rolling. give Kilroy a dense smoke, and then I shoot with her. Yeah, that seems good. Oh god, but then... What if we have to worry about the drones killing us? I mean, these are late game drones, they probably have better aim. How about I smoke... I, how about I play super safe? Super Saiyan safe. Safe as hell. Unlimited amounts of safe. It doesn't get any safer than what I'm doing right now. I'm pretty sure. Oh shit, there's another drone right there, god. No, please. Okay, it didn't flank me, it's okay. It's just going in for Iku, it wants that Iku kill. Everybody wants Iku, he's a dangerous man. AO is pretty dangerous too though. Combat rush? Yeah, combat rush. And he's gonna get high sniffing his own fumes too. Oh, but not high enough to hit that drone. Or perhaps too high. Perhaps the miasma of dank smoke and his own combat rush just got to him. You should never mix prescription drugs. Never. Not even once. Don't even try it. Always bad results. Okay, the drones are making themselves very annoying by flanking me and forcing me to kill them. Very annoying. And the outsiders are coming in. Oh god, the outsiders might have a shot on Iku. Iku, please don't die. I love you. Oh god, Iku, you're only wearing carapace. You can't get shot by four outsiders. Oh, they're so fast though. They're too fast. Iku, get down. Iku, get down. Oh my god, Iku. I didn't know about the extra outsiders. You could have killed them instead of them almost killing you. Iku, what health are you on? Oh my god. Iku. Is not going to be in missions for a little while. That's all right. He was taking all the fun from the other snipers anyway. Oh, good God. See, you might have thought he'd be okay in full cover, but outsiders don't miss past, oh, I don't know, month three. So that wasn't happening. All right, we need to kill them uh, today. Like right now, dog. Right now. Kill him to death. So we're just gonna pop a little, uh, pop a little proxy mine over here, and I'm gonna kill these outsiders right now. Laying mine. Because that is not fun. You might think it's fun, but trust me, nobody's having fun right now. Um, I could use some holo targeting, dog. I could use some hit and running, actually. You wanna do some hidden running? Hidden run? Hidden run? You wanna do some hidden running? I need to set off that grenade first though, hold on. That mine, I should say. Oh, just zero amounts of fun being had by Iku in that situation. Just terrible, terrible damage. And I need to set that off with somebody. Anybody. Help me, Batman. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Organ, maybe? No. Who's going to set that off for me? It's kind of got to be you, Hyper Geek, but you haven't got anywhere to really set it off from. Buddy. How are you going to do that? What if I bring you down and I do a little tricksy, tricksy play? Oh, he's so tricksy, the Beaks. The Beaks is so tricksy. He tried to get Iku killed to raise his view count with a dramatic episode, and now he's just... He's just a tricksy dude. Look at these tricks. Unnecessarily tricky. Now, I think Iku's going to take some well-deserved revenge, if you'll don't mind. Yep, that's happening. You trying to kill the source boss? I don't think so. Maybe they're going to get some too. 
We're going to hop, hop, hop DSM down here to get some kills as well. I think. But we have to kill these drones on the left first. Excuse me for a second. We have to kill these drones on the left. Or else bad things will happen. Now, if I step back from that rocket, that should be a good rocket that kills two drones. Or maybe it won't. I don't know. Life's a never-ending mystery. But I'm going to try it. Gonna move my guys out of the way and then I'm gonna try it. Moving to position. Should be a good rocket. Organ's fairly competent. He's a fairly competent dude. This should be a good rocket. Oh. Ah, it was medium. Medium rocket. He, I've seen better, honestly. Oh. 184 or 269s. Do you even know me, game? Come on. It takes 269s to make a good time, alright? Of course I'm gonna take that. Now, what do we got left here, guys? One drone. Uh, I think it's time for DSM to jump down and find the rest of those outsiders. Moving to position. Whee! There's one. I found it. Shoot me. Shoot me, boss. Screw you. Incoming over here. Screw you and your Dorito enchanted core. My body's telling me move EQ up and laser pistol him. But my mind's saying no, I got that song wrong. But we're not doing that is what I'm is the point. That would be bad. That'd be a bad idea. Uh, Bangarang. Okay, 21 damage. Go crazy then. See if I'll stop you. Uh, and a little bit of hit and run. And then you're going to apply a lot of bit of holo targeting. It's alright, you weren't meant to hit. That's AWO's job. Oh, that's Hunter, thank god. That's AWO's job. Thank god that's not AWO with a 47 to hit. <laughs> That would have been my worst nightmare. Okay, Iku buddy, time to fall back. Time to fall back for... Oh, how long, boss? I don't know, about a month. You're gonna fall back for about a month, I think. Out. And we're just gonna... We're just gonna dash, Hunter. Across to help you, I think. Good to go. Because that is a considerable amount of injury you've taken. Oh, yes. Uh, this is Iku's way of going on strike and saying, hey, give the snipers titan armor, or don't send us into the field because it's just not fair. Fair point, Iku. Fair point. Fair point, son. Hunter, you wouldn't happen to have a paramedic, would you? No, of course you don't. Okay. Um, Dism. Dism, you want to do some hidden running? Yes, you do. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you want to hit and run? Moving to position. Bang. That's uh That's solid damage is what that is. That is impressive. Impressive damage that was. It was very good. Very good job. I'm on the move. Okay. Let's send in the big guns. Hunt him down. Orders confirmed. On the move. Hop. Now, I think it's time we apply to Shred. Because he does not seem to want to go down to anything else. Actually, it's probably easier to just flank and spank him. Sorry. Sorry, Merlin. No Shred for you. Ah, uh, Bazinga. Only 10% the crit, probably not going to kill him. I don't know, how angry are you, Iku? Probably not angry enough after that. Oh, almost angry enough. Well, that's that's pretty angry. That's a pretty angry effort. Nicely done. Moving. But not quite nicely done enough. j -Bells is going to polish that one off for you. j -Bells comes along, you're going to eat that? Mm, 
I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat that up. Pacified. Head into that location. Let's go heal up a boy here. Good as new. Yeah. Except for the fact that you're like permanently burned across your entire body now. Didn't I give him the, the like the camo burnt out face paint too? Iku probably looks the part right now. Show me your face. Yeah. He's got that burnt out acne acne thing going on right now with the face paint. He's looking about as plasma scorched as he should. It's not even camo paint anymore, it's just burns. Iku is uh, lucky to be alive. On the move. This is the karma I summoned by uh, doing the whole rain dance, asking for bad luck when I was like, hey, bet you can't kill me, base assault. Bet you can't even try. That was uh, that was called tempting fate. Saul. On observation. Uh, I don't know why I tempt fate. I know I every time I do it, I know what happens. I think I do it on purpose to make it happen at this point. I think I just like I like the pain. Ten but Iku doesn't, so sorry, Iku. My bad. I swear I won't say that we're doing well next time. Okay, here comes Sekitoidi Commander. Oh shit. Hey! How about screw you? What do you think of that? Because I was actually smart enough to get a thing for Medvay where you can't mind control him. Oh, and now I get to see an animation I've never seen before, I think. Is that a new animation? That is! He's like... What the fuck? He's like on his knees. Huh! He's still in cover, right? Yeah. That's an interesting animation. I've never seen that before because I've never actually seen that gene mod work before. Kind of cool. They should mod it so that like, oh, you can even see his brain pulsing. They should mod it so like you can do like a soccer slide on your knees like that. Just just make the character move along in that uh, animation. It'd be great. Great ideas with beads. Roscas. That alien is clearly different from the others. It's wielding a power unlike anything we've previously <laughs> encountered. Balin. That's, that's not an alien, that's a... Pretty sure that's like some kind of device, but... Uh, what do I know, right? Pretty sure that's not an alien. Oh, one tile from the big flank. Sadness. Very sad. Come on, Merlin. We make our own flanks in XCOM. Make our own destiny, we make our own flanks. Oh, is it that time? It's that time. Oh, it's not that time. Damn. I thought it was that time, but it wasn't. Oh, uh, let's just go freak him out then. Estoy en Hello. I'm in your cover. Fucking up your day. I'm gonna fuck up your day hardcore. Let's do it. Oh, your day is about to get fucked. Oh. Where that DSM girl at? There she is. DSM. That's affirmative. Make their day even worse. Oh. Then I have to chem myself. No, you're right. It's worth it. Merlin would want to get high on dank poison fumes for the mission. She's a robot. She doesn't really care. Bang! Beautiful. And now I'm gonna shoot again! Bang! Oh my god, I love it. Running dry on ammo. Take vengeance, Iku! Take vengeance! Yeah. Bye -bye. Feels like we're finally Weapons turning the tide. Dry. Now that we've captured their device, the aliens are running out of secrets. It's imperative that we begin the research as soon as possible. Now that we've captured this device, we should probably be expecting the aliens to pursue us more aggressively. I doubt losing it was part of their plan. <laughs> was losing your base part of your plan? <laughs> Dr. Naval and I'm XCOM. Well, and just stares at the transmitter like, you're a pretty big alien. For you.
Oh, you guys, Commander, you guys fucked it up. I'm glad to see that I'm not the only one who understands this war isn't over yet. I didn't leave it like that. You fucked the it up. The existence of this artifact, which we believe to be a communication device of some Why'd you do that to it? the question. If the sectoid commander was the alien leader, then Why'd you who break it? Or what? You broke the thing! With? I believe this is indeed the same creature we encountered when we made first contact with the aliens. As we have observed, it is somehow capable of using its mind as a weapon. No. If we were to study this specimen's brain tissue, perhaps we might be able to adapt this ability for our own purposes. Uh, Dr. Valen? Uh, your, your three o'clock is ready. Oh, good. Good. I'm going to tell everyone about this new alien we brought home in the staff meeting. It's big and it's shaped like a device, but trust me, I'm onto it. Well, apart from Iku going out for a month and a half, well-deserved rest, by the way, he's been going very hard, um, that was a flawless mission. Uh, just a shame uh, about a couple of things. One, that there were two outsiders I didn't know about uh, that ran to that... Well, I knew about them, but that they ran to that position in very limited cover, it seemed. Two, that outsiders can run faster than Usain Bolt. And three, uh, that outsiders, like Thin Men, only have one mode, which is kill. Uh, they, they don't miss. Uh, so that's unfortunate, but hey, happy birthday Hunter Her, uh, the first and probably only not Master Sergeant to go on a base assault in this campaign, uh, and now a Master Sergeant for his trouble, so there you go. Now we can go straight up to, uh, probably not Sentinel of his build, but, uh, Savior or Pack Master, so... <coughs> claps! Claps all around for Hunter Her, very good. Very, very good. Got all this bullshit, got a Hyperwave Bacon, got a whole bunch of dead aliens. It is great. Oh, look at all them alloys. I mean, that's a reasonable amount of alloys. I just always expect more from, you know, a base. I always figure there should be like 200 alloys and 150 Illyrium and 100 meld and and uh, a million weapon fragments. But maybe they could rebalance it. So, you know, like when you do an alien base, you get double the rewards, but then you only have to do half as many to defe defeat the campaign. That'd be really cool. Um, of course, this is beta 14, and I don't even know why I talk balance anymore, because this build is about a year old now, I think. But anyway. <laughs> it is almost, isn't it? Because, Jesus, blast from the past. I started Tuesday morning XCOM in February, and that was beta 15. This build's almost a year old. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Anyway, Australia's back. We will be in touch, Commander. Uh, and you know what, mate? That's a fair shake of the sauce bottle. That's a good thing. There's no way the aliens could have anticipated this outcome. We've crippled their entire support network. Of course, this isn't the end. We have no choice now but to take it further. We have to find their remaining ships and finish what they started. I love the quotes here. I mean, for one, Valen's like, Oh, shit. We attacked the alien base. No going back now. Now we have to beat them. Like, well... Yes. We do. And then, I love the first quote from her just then, like, the aliens couldn't have predicted this outcome. Like, the sector is just sitting around, like, having a, a risk assessment meeting at the start of the invasion. So, what do we think could go wrong uh, when we build these subterranean bases on Earth uh, to operate from? Uh, Gleep Gloop raises his hand with his little suit on. Um, well, they, we could lose the base, the XCOM could find it and assault it, and, you know, the... The, the big sector commander just like, get out. Get get the fuck out. So, <laughs> that's apparently how they saw it coming. According to Valen. I don't, I don't know how Valen knows that. Don't ask me. Um, but anyway. Our mech trooper is ready. We should oh build a cyber suit yes, as soon Shen. as possible in the cybernetics lab. Shen. Yes, in, in the cybernetics lab. Yes, Shen, I know. It's, it's done. We've had mechs for a long time, okay? God. Does anyone else have anything stupid to say? Nobody? Okay, good. Bradford is about to say something, just stops like, oh, actually, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'll just find out if sectoids have genitals on my own. <laughs> just walks off to the autopsy lab. <laughs> we have fun here on Live and Impossible. That's why you're all so glad it's back, right? Sure, definitely. No one's regretting this yet already. All right, we're gonna sell a whole bunch of crap 
Seriously, it's just it's literal it's legitimal crap. Get it out of here. I hate it. It's just it's just crap. Get it. Get it gone. I had enough of it. Get it lost. Oh, if I get one more surgery. Cool. If I get one more surgery, I can get that thing that makes recovering easier. Cool. Oh, sell that alien entertainment. Cool, you betcha. I'm gonna sell that food. Mmm, mmm. Smells like maple syrup in here. We making money tonight. The latest contact turned out to be a dud. Probably just another drunk pilot who fell asleep on a long haul. That sounds about right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I am, I am just fucked. I am just fucked out of my mind right now. And I've never felt better. Uh, so, XCOM might pick us up as a UFO contact, but that's alright, because I'm just, I'm just fucking wasted. Bing bong. Please return to your seats, we're experiencing turbulence. Things are heating up out there. We're tracking multiple unidentified targets. Don't worry, it's just that drunk airline pilot. You just told me about him, don't worry. Well, I'm gonna sell all that sh stuff. And then I'm gonna go right ahead. I'm gonna build me a goddamn Mech 3 Paladin. Sue me. Ten days to becoming the master of everything I survey. Beautiful. Build it. And then, you know what? I'm gonna assault another base. I'm gonna build another Mech 3 Paladin. And then I'm gonna assault another base. I'm gonna build a Firestorm. I'm gonna assault another base. I'm gonna build, like, 12 suits of Titan armor. I ain't gonna give a sh- I ain't, I ain't gonna give shit. I ain't gonna give no shits. This is happening. I am winning this campaign. Uh, and sooner than you would think. The only thing I gotta wait for is side grind, and you know what? If I just have to cut out the last 30 missions of the game where I'm just waiting for someone to hit a fucking 50% chance to level up their psychic powers and just do it in a highlight reel, I will. But don't worry, we're actually, I'm pretty sure we're gonna finish this campaign before XCOM 2 comes out. Pretty sure. 90%. 90, 90, 98%. Alright, build us up another satellite, if we, uh, if we got the balls for it. Yeah, I got room for two more satellites. We can take back India and Japan, get some mad money. Then we're gonna have to rebuild another satellite uplink. Or do I need a nexus? I think we're gonna need one nexus and one uplink to complete all of the satellites worldwide. And then I'll have a few too many, but that's okay. Actually, no, I'll, I'll have just enough. 16 satellites worldwide. We're taking them by storm. So that's two satellites coming. Whole bunch of side training. Mind shield's getting built. Oh, I got some requests. Please, allow me. These requests are shit. No thank you. I'm just gonna go ahead and pass on that. Did I forget to do anything? I don't think so. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologram. Time for an abduction. Let's do it. In St. Petersburg, Russia. It's a heavy... It's a... Excuse me, 100 bucks. And it's an urban close quarters. Uh, the time... I'm as nigh. I can't stop hiccuping. Uh, but let's equip the squad. Alright, so, uh, you know, the squad's a bit dysfunctional, but hey, base assault, I'm just gonna keep using that as my excuse, you know, the base defense happened, that's my excuse, it's, it's still because of the base defense, whatever, I don't even care. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so sometimes dysfunctional squads happen to good people, uh, in this case, no scout, uh, no infantry, 
Instead, we got a couple of gunners. Now, I gave Zim uh, the Executioner scope uh, because I have a feeling Zim's going to carry out her ass this mission uh, because she always does. So we'll see. I've got a good feeling. I mean, she just got Mayhem. Um, who else? Hawking is coming on this mission because no other sniper is available, really, unless I fatigue someone. He's three for three so far. We'll see if we can't open that kill ratio up a little bit more this mission. I got damn good ground on him because honestly, no one is better primed to become a damn good ground sniper than a sergeant in the goddamn second year of a campaign. Like, he actually could become better than the other snipers because he'll be tuned for Archangel this way. Uh, and of course he has prec shot, so he might end up being the guy who goes on the temple ship if he levels up quick enough, you just don't know. Uh, Hyper Geek's just bringing a lot of grenades. He's just going to blow up everything. He's going to blow the whole damn place up. Uh, Morgan and Drake. Morgan functioned as kind of a not quite infantry, infantry of the rifle there. Uh, but with the walker server, she can possibly get some more flanks. Drake here playing the traditional tank assault with the chitin and the reinforced. And the nice little snug alloy cannon there. And Soil and Green leading this one out, believe it or not. Ladies and gentlemen, Soil and Green, your officer gunner for this mission. Only a sergeant. But that is enough to have Danger Zone, Shredder Ammo, and uh, Holo Targeting, which are all powerful perks, so hopefully we'll see where we go. And of course, only one mech this mission, because we're building the Mech 3 Warden. It'll be worth it once it's done, trust me, that thing is... That thing is like if Jesus was a robot. Um, so we're just gonna have Daishi on this mission. Pathfinder is definitely, haven't I said this before, definitely a good mech to operate solo if you have to. Uh, very capable of operating solo, so... Uh, between that and Vagabond of the Combat Drugs and the extra med kits, because i got a feeling something's going to happen bad on this mission, uh, I think we should be good. I think it's time to get down there uh, and have us a ball. Prepare for deployment, Strike One. We'll be deploying to Russia for this one. We've gotten several reports indicating that the aliens have stepped up the number of attempted abductions. We'll have to move quickly if we want to slow the spread of panic. Look, Pathfinders work well on their own, but I don't know if I'd go so far to say they're a lone hero. I don't know, who... who is the lone hero? Well, I guess you gotta wait till next episode to find out. Eh, and I guess I have to wait till next episode to find out too, but... Unlike you, I get to find out a lot sooner. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, uh, the Bass Assault. If not, hey, screw you. Come back next time for my next episode. Or don't. I, I don't even care. I'm, I'm going to stop talking before I alienate anyone else. See you later. Have a good one.